Hi, my name is Matt Honeycutt. Uh, in my first screencast ever, I'm going to be showing you how my approach to test-driven development has changed over the last couple of years. And I'm going to do that by using TDD to drive the implementation of the Create User Handler for RageFeed. So this is a messaging endpoint. It's going to receive messages from the RageFeed message bus um, that say, hey, create this user. Uh, it's going to do that. It's going to, going to create the user. It's going to notify them uh, with their, that their account's been created uh, through an email service. It's going to also mark the user as um, authenticated, and then it's going to reply back across the bus to the caller and say, hey, I created this user. So we're going to use uh, TDD to implement this, and I'm going to start um, by writing uh, unit tests how I would have written them a couple of years ago. So these are definitely not how I'd recommend writing tests today. Um, I'll get to uh, showing you how I'm doing it today and explain why I think that's a much better approach. Uh, but I wanted to start here because I think a lot of people still write tests this way and it'll kind of um, explain my thinking for how I um, arrived at where I'm at today. Um, so the, as far as how I'm actually doing test driven development, I still think um, that's fine, but um, how my tests are implemented, there's definitely some problems there and we'll go through those uh, towards the end. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've stubbed out the handler already and I've got my test fixture. It's uh, just using in unit over here. So in the old days, I would have written a single test method for the um, create user handler handle method. So I'd have something like handle test. And I would write uh, my test case here to verify all the behavior of this method. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got to have a handler to test. So create user handler. All right, and we are going to call our handler's handle method. We have to give it a request. And our request consists of a username, an email address, and a password for this new user. So we're going to send that message to our handler. It's going to create the user. It's going to send them an email. It's going to mark them as authenticated. And then it's going to reply with a message that says, hey, I created this user. So let's go ahead and test the most basic functionality first. Let's make sure it's sending back the right reply. And for now, we're going to use the standard in unit assert that method. I'll show you a better way to do this later on. Um, so assert that reply dot succeeded is true. All right, so let's go ahead and since we're doing test driven development, we have to make sure our test fails first because it's red green refactor. So we run our test. And I haven't built this before on this box, so it takes just a little bit longer than usual for this first one. All right, so our test ran and it did indeed fail. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. That's because if we go to our handler, it's actually returning null. It's not returning the reply. So let's go ahead and implement just enough functionality to make this test pass. So create user reply. See if it equals true. So let's make sure we get a green now. We run the test. And it passes. All right. So the next thing we need to check is did it actually create the user? So to do that, we are going to uh, use RageFeed's iUser repository. So we've already got our repository um, interface in the system, so we just need to um, utilize that. Our handler needs to utilize that. Um, we don't want to actually tie our handler, um, at least for testing purposes, to the concrete implementation of that interface. We just want to uh, hook it up to a mock. So we're actually going to use a mocking framework to do that. So let's go ahead and make our user repository, and we're going to use mock to create, oops, apparently I have not uh, set resharper up all the way on here. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to create a new mock of type i user repository. All right, and we want to verify that our repositories add method was called with a user who has a username of user and a email address of test at user.com. So just that these properties match uh, what was passed in with our request. 
And we can't directly check the password here because the user object doesn't actually store the password. Um, but what we can do is just make sure that, hey, there was a password actually set. So we'll do that by checking this password salt, or excuse me, password hash property and make sure it's not equal to null. All right. So let's run this. Make sure we get a failing test first. Okay, and it fails because the, um, the the method that we told it should have been called was not called. Add was never called with a user that matched that uh, user email and password hash uh, check. All right, and that's to be expected because we haven't implemented that functionality yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, our handler is going to need access to our repository here. So we're going to pass in our repository. Let's go ahead and generate a constructor. All right, and we are just going to stash this in a field. All right, and we're going to use that repository in our handle method to actually add the user. So user repository add new user, and we're going to set their username equal to request.username, their email address equal to our request.email address. And there's one more thing we need to do. We need to set that user's password, which we can't do in line here. So we're going to have to extract this into a variable. And then we're going to use uh, call user dot set password and give them uh, a password specified in the request. And so this method is going to take care of setting the uh, generating salt and setting their password hash, all that. OK, so now we're calling the repository. We're adding that user. So let's check our test and see if it passes. All right, our test passes. So we have uh, checked two of the requirements for our method. Um, the next one is that it needs to actually send an email to the user uh, after it creates their account. So again, we're going to use another mock object. So we have an email dispatching service. So we're going to create a mock for that. All right, email dispatcher. All right, and we want to verify that our email is sent. So we expect it to send a, a new user activation email. And we expect it to be for a user with the username user. And it should go to their email address. All right. And again, let's run this, make sure it does not pass. And we do that just to be sure we've set up our expectations and our asserts correctly. Okay, so it does indeed fail. So obviously our uh, handler cannot use our dispatcher mock if we don't pass it in. So we're gonna go ahead and inject that through the constructor. And we'll use resharper to add that to our constructor. Let's store it in a field. All right, and this looks like a good place to email the user because at this point we have actually created their account. We've saved them into the repository. So let's go ahead and send an activation email. So user dot username, user dot email. All right, and let's go check our test again. Let's see if this works. And yep, so our test passes. So the final bit of functionality we need to add is that this uh, handle method should also mark the user as being authenticated. So we have an authentication service that does that for us. So let's go ahead and make a mock for that. And let's verify that the expected method is called on this service. Mark user is authenticated. And it should be uh, for the current username, the username that we sent in the request. All right, good, so our test failed. So now we can go and implement it. Uh, first thing we need to do is pass it in through constructor injection, right? So authenticator. Okay, and just like before, we're gonna stash this in a field. All right, and this is a good spot to go ahead and add this logic. We've 
emailed the user, we've sent them, an, uh, we've created the user, we've emailed them, now we can authenticate them. All right, let's make sure our test passes. All right, and we're done.